All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, do I got a rare Milo Sarsev video for you today? And if you love Milo Sarsef, you're going to love this video because he's one of my favorite bodybuilders. I always loved his physique at 5'11", 240 pounds. I tell you, that is an aesthetic, aesthetic physique right there. Because usually guys come in at 5'7", 5'8", 240 pounds. Like Brandon Curry. What was he? 5'7 and a half, 5'8", 245 Kevin Lavrone, five foot nine, two forty-five to two fifty-five. So he is just very aesthetic at five foot eleven, two hundred and forty pounds. I tell you that, and he just got so overlooked throughout his career. Like I said before, and the reason why I say that is because he did seventy-two pro shows, and that's not even including the Mr. Universe show that he did before he became a pro, and he placed first at that contest. That was his best win ever, was the Mr. Universe. Then he placed first at two shows out of 71 shows. This guy did 71 shows and only placed first at two of them. That's fucking mind-blowing. And you know what? He did compete in the hardest era of bodybuilding. The early 90s, into the 90s, into the early 2000s. That was the hardest era of bodybuilding in bodybuilding history. So I could see why he got overlooked a little bit, but he should have placed first at a lot, of, a lot more competitions. But I digress. But the physique looks pretty good. He is holding a little bit of water, and he did place third here, which is a pretty good placing because that 1993 Finland Grand Prix was fucking stacked. I think Kevin Lavroni won that show. Kevin looked fucking great at the 93 um, Finland Grand Prix. I just did a video on that. So if you guys didn't see it, definitely go back to my channel and check it out. Because it was a really good video of Kevin. Kevin looked fucking crazy. But Milo's place in third, like I said, isn't a bad placing. But out of 71 shows that he did, he only placed first at two of them. I mean, if you guys think about it, that's fucking mind-blowing. But he was a workhorse, and he did look good at a lot of shows, and he should have placed first at a lot of shows, and didn't. Especially in 1998, because 1999, he started using too much synthol. Way too much synthol by 1999. But 1997, 1998, those were really good years for Milos. And let me know what you guys think about this version of Milos Larsef. Like I said, he was holding a little bit of water, but he did look really good, and the lighting was really good here. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just tickle that Kevin Lavroni icon button. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out.